been a while since we've done an art snacks unboxing and random art challenge. Camera focus. Thank you. Camera. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Don't you don't sass me. You're sat. You're doing this on purpose. What was I saying? Anyways, it's been a minute, so um, let's unbox it. Here we go. We've got, that's right, a box of our supplies. Let's just take everything out. Ooh, <gasps> gouache. Put our sassy box over here to the side. And let's quickly go through our, our supplies, starting off with our sticker and our snack of the month. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> First, we've got two Faber-Castell Polychromos color pencils in brown ochre and grass green. An Uni Pin fine line brush pen. And look at this, look how, oh my God, that looks like, like a needle, you're gonna, you're gonna, ha, huh, ha. Huh. A little Princeton Lauren series 4350 golden synthetic brush round size two in this really funny like locked away plastic box of Daniel Smith extra fine watercolor stick never I don't think I've used one of those actually let's open it oh this is such an interesting I guess way to travel with it so it doesn't maybe smudge and get on you all right cute in the art snacks plus menu we have an entire set of eight talons art creation gouache. Oh my goodness, I'm always down to try new gouache. Oh my goodness, look at all that fancy gouache. And last but not least, we do have our Fluid 100 Hot Press Watercolor Paper Pochette, eight by 10. I have used this paper before. It's fine, it's watercolor paper. So today I would actually like to, if you don't mind, use this opportunity to fill in a spread of our sketchbook. Camera, hold on, hold on. If you don't focus, I swear. Okay, okay, all right. What was I saying? I like to use these boxes to fill in a spread. I think it'd be really fun to use this side to sketch and plan what we're going to do. And then on this side, because this paper can handle, I think, a little bit of wetness, a little bit of gouache. We'll do like, kind of like a finished piece on this side. We've got all of our art supplies. I'll be cheating and adding my own sketching tools. Sorry, everybody. But yeah, let's get to, um, let's sketch something. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of really want to do color blobs. This way I can swatch all of our gouache colors, play around with our pencils, our pens get a feeling for the art supplies, while also creating cute and silly blobs. Let's do it. That's deep rose, but it looks like magenta more, th whoa, more than it looks like red. Okay, just going to give them a quick little spr a spritz just to get them wet. A black blob isn't the best, but that's okay, we'll survive. Coming in with a brown blob, a yellow ochre blob, Okay, green, green, we're gonna, woo, woo, woo. All right, blue blob, what you got? Let's go long in our rose blob. Our, our very bright yellow blob. And for some reason, I have a lot of room for our white blob, which you can actually see because the paper isn't, you know, or white, I suppose. So y'all know I am currently cat obsessed. What if I tried to make all of these, oh my God, cat related? What about this kitty? Um, oh my God, what is this kitty? Let's see, a little nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about making all these cats. They're kind of, they might be too silly. Um, you know what? Let's make this look like the dumbest cat ever. This is horrible. Oh no, y'all. This is not good. That's not good. Okay, it's a cat that's like curled up, sure. Do you ever make art and just ask yourself, what are you doing? I mean, honestly, that that's a dog nose. You can't make this a cat. Stop it, you cannot do, you can't. How dare, how dare. That looks like a dog. You can't make it look like a cat. That's illegal. Okay, but what about this one? You can't make this one look like a cat. I mean, come on. What is that? What? What is this? <gasps> I 
I didn't even use the rest of the art supplies. Oh no. Okay, well, here's a colored pencil. We'll just like create some waves. Okay, the last art supply I actually didn't use was this. So we draw, we'll draw a circle and with some water. I'm not into this sort of thing. A lot of y'all already know if there's like watercolor pencils, watercolor crayons. I just, I find it just like an extra step you don't need. So I don't know, there it is. Will I use it? We will see. So here's the thing. I wanna create an illustration that we're gonna draw some clouds to create a fun border. We will choose a vanishing point for our ocean. I'll add a couple of clouds just to add a little something. Wait, a mountain should be behind that. Let's put a mountain behind this cloud. You know, I'm into the idea of this looking a little bit messy or sketchy. I wanna draw a cat. Do I draw a cat? Maybe just like vibing on the mountain? What about some ocean kitties? Can we get some ocean kitties in here? Okay. Wait, another ocean kitty in the background? Tiny? Okay, that's enough, yeah? Kitties, like, oh no, do I draw another one? Do I draw? I thought it would be interesting to use the colors straight out of the gouache tube, so here we go, colors straight out of the gouache tube. Honestly, I wonder if I should paint the clouds white just to make sure they're extra crisp. Not the outside clouds, but the <laughs> the inside clouds. It's just really hard to make them super crisp with a brush that isn't the smallest, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna use this gouache as if it's watercolor. I'm going to use it very watered down to create our ocean. All right, I think that's about it for the <laughs> the ocean color. I'll be honest, this is unlike the normal gouache I use. This is probably very much like the jelly gouache that I've tried in the past. You know, the one that looks like candy. The gouache I really like is acrylic gouache, which means it dries and you cannot reactivate it with water. This gouache I can tell is like your I guess your typical watercolor type gouache where even if it dries, you can reactivate it with water. I don't know what it is. Even though I love watercolor, I don't like water activated gouache. I don't know what it is. Just not my jam. I just splattered a bunch of green paint on the clouds. Well, there's a reason why this is a sketchbook. All right, let's try to add a little bit of <laughs> reflection in the water. Oh no, I'm getting messy, but here we go. We've got, oh, that looks nice. Some reflection of the mountain green in the water. I like that. All right, here we go with our, our black kitties. Okay, not bad. Let's add the tail. And I wanna make sure I add some reflection in the water. All right, let's keep adding cats to our piece. Surprisingly or not surprisingly, Adding some silly black kitties to our piece just adds a little bit of personality and makes it look, you know, quite an improvement from this boring piece that it was before. Oh no, this kitty's a little thick, but you know, it happens. Oh my gosh. All right. Hmm, I don't know how I feel, <laughs> I feel about this. Okay, I'm going to add some flowers to our mountain, maybe you know, make it a little pretty. Add some detail. Oh no. Y'all, I promise I can draw pretty mountains. I promise. Should I add some in the water just to... Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to add some texture to the grass with some of our pencils. Don't hate it. Don't love it. What about our light green? Does that do anything? Oh no. you. You can't, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. Well, oh, I forgot, I forgot. A, oh, this will be good for adding grass. Oh, whoa, yes. I am so impressed with how thin this pen is. It's crazy. I think I'm also going to go ahead and add some lines in the water. Ooh. I cannot get over the lines this pen can make. It's crazy. 
it's perfect for these sort of details. I'm just going to keep adding line details throughout the entire piece in the water, reflections of the kitties. <gasps> it looks so good. This is definitely the details that this piece needed. Okay, fine. I'll add a few birds. You know I have to add birds, especially with this pen. Perfect. Some over here. I love this pen. Is that it? I think. <gasps> Did I use every art supply? Oh no, I didn't use this guy. Eh, forget this guy. There you go. Here's our uh, dumb kitty blob spread with our gouache mountainy cloud spread. Thank you so much to Art Snacks for sending me this box. If you want your own Art Snacks, check out the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and an even bigger thank you to my patrons for their monthly support. You guys are the best. If you want early access to these videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more, check out the link in the Patreon. <laughs> check out the link in the Patreon. The link to the Patreon in my description of this video. You guys know the drill. Thank you guys so much for your monthly support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.